So I'm home from my Home Depot Walmart run. I see no evidence that anybody has been to my property except for the Amazon delivery person. I stuck my ODNI number on the front door and I hope any Leos will be discouraged from embarking on any harassment campaigns against me for some psychopaths. So we'll see, but before I, oh snap, I accidentally gave a little bit of sneak peek. So this is just a disclosure to my daughter if she watches this that she's probably going to curse under her breath a little bit when she sees this, okay? But what happened is I just went to Walmart for some worms and I went in through the garden center and then this happened. <laughs> so I do have a plant problem. I didn't actually buy any plants since I got back. I don't think, except for my mosquito citronella plant. Um, but it started with a Home Depot run. I had to get some cement blocks and a bag of mulch for my peach tree and I got one great plant. And then, and then this happened, guys. Look at this. I think I mentioned to you all that I got two of my peach trees on clearance at Walmart for $10. Right? So, this happened. Now, this one was a really great deal. I'm hoping I'll be able to take some cuttings off of it in the future. Now, this black willow, I had one of these, and I can't find it anywhere. And with as many willows as I have on my property... You would think that the deer wouldn't eat at this type so much, but they did eat at it quite a bit previously, and I think my cage might have been insufficient because um, I could not locate it. It might still be out there somewhere. Now, this is a river birch. I, my regret today is that I did not buy the other one of these. Um, to put it into perspective, so I bought some of these bare root as little twigs, and I didn't cage them. I think they got eaten because I know they didn't get droughted because they were in an area where the water table is pretty high. But for these at the, the full size, um, maybe like six foot, seven, six foot tall ones at Home Depot, we're going for $130. Maybe they were seven footers. I didn't look at them too close, but I saw the sign. They had $130 river birches at Home Depot. I'm hoping to be able to get some cuttings of this in and propagate it, but I still regret not getting the other one of these. So now I've got some, now not 100% of these are clearance, daughter, but quite a bit of them are. Um, I got some, some boxwoods. When I chose my hostas, I missed the $4.50 hostas at Home Depot, but I did get this one on sale and it's got some different clumps in it that I'll be able to separate. I do want to start propagating my own lavenders, but I felt like these were a reasonable price and I want to fill in my road frontage that I showed you guys got washed out and so now a bunch of my lavender plants are missing. So I did get some boxwoods to try to fill out my, mi my missing boxwoods. I think I've got two different kinds of boxwoods here total. And so I just have to compare to what I've got planted where and the different heights and stuff. Because, like, I think... Hmm. We'll see. I have, I have to find the tags for what kind I have planted out front. But a lot of these hostas are going into the bed with the peach trees. And a lot of these I may just be keeping in the pots for now. Since I don't have the cage situation for them, I'm going to bring them in close where the deer are not going to come gnaw them down. In the meantime, I do not want to plant these right before the heat, like the hottest period of the summer, because they could get droughted. So I'm just going to keep um, some of those watered in pots. Now these other ones, basically everything I plant, I have to commit myself to watering. So the ones that I don't keep in pots for now, i got to keep up on it, but... Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys my loot. I'm, I'm like a little bit embarrassed that I did this, but I'm also kind of glad. So, we'll see. Take it easy, y'all. I'm going to go plant some beans in a little bit, but I'm going to do some more weeds for now. Oh, you know, I almost forgot to show you guys the whole reason why I went to Walmart in the first place. Okay. Now, if you get any worms from them for, like, a worm bin, I would just recommend that 
you open all the packages and look at them because these were packed back at the end of May and it doesn't seem like that long ago but some of these that I opened one of them was full of mold and the worm was not moving around okay and then another one was full it was like super wet and it was just like a massive tangle of worms and a tiny little bit of dirt and it, and it was like all watery and so the worms on top were super lively but then a whole bunch of them were like drowned okay but look at this look at these oh look oh hello hello friends I have a new home for you you're not going to get eaten by a fish not anytime soon anyways and then I don't know I just I just had to go ahead and get a thing of these night crawlers to stick in there too because they look all big and juicy you know and I figured they could probably eat a lot of stuff and poop out a lot of stuff and that's kind of the whole point is try to get me some good compost worm casings so I'll walk over there and show you all what I got. It might be a little bit embarrassing. I don't know. Now I actually started this worm bin quite a number of years ago um, in Michigan's Upper Peninsula when I was staying in a cabin up there. We got like 246 inches of snow that year. Well, first of all, I got my moldy bread that I kept forgetting to return and you know, pitch a fit with them selling bad food. But um, you know, I got my eggshells, I stuck some grass in there. Now what I'm gonna do before I put the worms in there is I, I am gonna stick some dirt in there, okay, before I put the worms in. And then I'm gonna put like more dead grass and stuff in there. But um, but anyways, yeah, I got, I got weeds popping up over here, no beans yet. But I'm just gonna stitch these videos together and I don't know if I'll be posting anything else later or not. Take it easy.